Hello folks, and welcome back to Let's Play Breath of Fire 3. I'm your host, the Game of Darius. Last we left off, um, apparently we didn't do too much of a good thing last time. It was a pretty bad thing that we may have done. And we gotta have a little chat with Loki. Now, before we get started, I do have to point out that I did do that last bit of grinding that I needed in order to get Tipo the last spell, or the second to last spell, anyways, from Mygis, the magic ball. Uh, attacks using a solid ball of magic, and uh, it's pretty effective if you have a really high intelligence. Now, while his Tipo's intelligence isn't all that high, he does have that magic ability to essentially uh, increase his intelligence. Yep, that's pretty much it. As far as I recollect, every single time I pop on this uh, game, I feel like I should be drinking something other than Monster Mountain Dew. Maybe like an apple juice or something. Again, it was like freaking before the 2000s I even, play I even uh, played this game for the first time, so... Ray, something's wrong. We'll get that Loki fellow to explain what's going on. B -b Bunyan? I was hard to take care of the cows, so whatever I say is going to be to the cows. What's going on? We're waiting for Loki. Hey, cow. Did you hear that that fellow Loki thought he could have any, <laughs> an easy life if he got a hold of McNeil's money, but he didn't know that McNeil was working for a big gang of crooks that doesn't like being stolen from? Sounds pretty dangerous, doesn't it, cow? What does he mean, Ray? It means... We shouldn't be hanging around here too long. I think we should be getting back home. Quick. Uh, thanks for having your conversation with the cow. Loki's taken off. He was just using you. I'd hide until this blows over if I were you. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. That sounds like a good idea because I really don't want to be, you know, taken out by the Breath of Fire version of the Mafia. I think I headed the right direction. Okay, this is gonna lead back through town. And you guys remember too, is that I can't buy anything from the weapon shop or the item shop because they're all pissed off at me. Again, like this is new for the trio. Well, as of late, it's a new thing for the trio. Well, better go back to Cedar Woods and lay low, you know, try to Stay out of reach of any sort of criminal organizations for the time being. God, I hope that's helpful. I murder them all. Yeah, the bottles have gotten a little bit easy seeing as everyone's past level 12. Oh, hey! I forgot about this part. There's some strange looking fellas here a minute ago. Sure didn't like the look of them. Uh oh. This morning, there was a sack of money in front of the house. When Mom saw it, she got all pale and took it off somewhere. I wonder what that was all about. By the way, you can sit here and just farm croc tears. Not, e not even farm croc tears, you're just constantly tapping A. It's like an infinite source of croc tears. And croc tears, for those that know don't know and for my own remembering has a slight chance of restoring status so it's not like that they're going to 100% cure everything but uh, still a chance to cure your status no matter what it is is pretty damn good to me that said I ain't going to sit here and just continuously tap for crock tears I don't even think you could sell them for a very high price
Or at least if you could sell them, they're not going to be high price at all. Like maybe a gold, a single zenny per croc tier. That doesn't sound good. What? What the? What's going on? What's happened? Ray! Huh. I was wondering what our thieves might look like. They're just a bunch of kids, ain't they, bro? No worries, eh, Sunder? Time for school. A lesson in the school of life. Eh? You mean... You? That's right. You're a little too big for your britches, my boy. Now it's time for your spanking, so get on over here. Hey, check it out, bro. They're gonna try and fight. Kids. They just don't want to do what they're told, do they? Oh, these two. Balio and Sunder. The biggest douchebags of the entire game, if you ask me. I mean, that's not saying much. They're... There's a lot of douchebags in this game. Do they even have anything to steal? I doubt that they do. I'm gonna see if I can actually get off a magic ball on these two before I end up, you know, myrtleizing them for burning down my house. Lightning. That hurt. That sucks. Ray, if you'll kindly try to steal something, anything, please. Damn it. That's, uh, you know what? We got a new spell. It's gonna be fantastic. Let's try to use it. Damn it, Ray. Pure magical energy. Holy crap, that actually did a butt ton of damage. Oh, crap. Well, Well, things really went downhill, didn't they? Nothing in there. All I found was you alone and wounded in the woods. I always told you, you'd get in trouble one day. I never thought something like this would happen. I'm afraid the Tipo Ray are... Mm. Where do you think you're going? Looking for them? Windia? Did you say you were going to Windia? I see. Watch yourself, hear me? Just follow the road east. Well, that most definitely sucks. That said, though, I'm totally going to use these on Darius. And also this, because having a high agility is nice. To get to Windy, you have to cross Mount Mike Mirneg to the east. If you're having trouble getting over, come back here. Maybe I can give you a hand, eh? Which I think this is the point where he can become a master. God! Yeah, it looks like I might actually end up leveling up faster now that Dart is all by his lonesome. All by his lonesome. 
I just really want to double check really quickly whether or not uh, Bunyan is already able to become a master. If not, then oh well, Darius will just be masterless for a couple of levels, I guess. Or however long it takes. Hmm. So are you ready to try working for a living? I've learned that young folks like you need the advice. They're elders. You can use our experience to keep, help keep you on the straight and narrow, see? So, you wanna hear my advice? Yes, I do. Hmm. Guess you're sincere enough. Listen up. You need to be strong and tough. Can't get through life otherwise, got it? Alright, let me double check really quick. Okay, so... Bunyan. He's a pretty cool individual. He teaches uh, a bunch of very physical moves. Risky Blow, which has a high chance of failing to hit you, but it increases the critical but it gives you a 100% chance of criticaling when you do hit. Focus, which allows you to... Uh, cause for Oh, which straight up increases your attack power. Like, your physical attack power. Super Combo, which is a button... Ma not button mashing, but a kind of... Press the coordinated buttons and try to get the highest combo and you'll hit that many times. And then disembowel, which is a constant 100% chance of critical hitting. Uh, his, his training under him increases your HP and power by 2 and your defense by 2, but the trade-off is that your intelligence is reduced by 3 and your AP action points is reduced by 2 every time that you go to level. It's a pretty harsh trade-off, but I make you Darius my pupil. While you're my pupil, your power and defense and strength will go up faster. But your AP and intelligence won't go up as quickly. No one else. Because there's no one else with me. Go now and come back when you've increased your level. Which will be something I'll do later on. Yeah, I'm definitely going to try not to worry about uh, trainers and whatnot until later on. Yeah. Mostly because that would involve just a lot of stopping but between different recording sessions and whatnot. And just going, oh, time to level up like 10 times with this one character. And off we are towards Windia. First, we got to go through Mount Mirneg, which isn't an annoying place at all, which actually I should... Ooh, wait. Yeah, one second. So I suppose now would actually be a good time to show off how you do these skill notes. So the only person really that had any magic was Tipo, but you'll see that once he had left the party, in a manner of speaking, all of his magic has been placed into here. And we can use skill links in order to change who knows what. Now, since there's no real reason to have influence, um, no real reason to have meditation either. Charge is based on defense. Jump is a little unreliable, to be completely honest. And you can only have up to 10 uh, different skills per character. And it seems like a waste having used the skill link to only do that one thing. But, yeah, It'll become more abundant later on in the game. Really, right now, I just gotta worry about whether or not I have the skills to pay the bills and get through Mount Mirnig so that I can actually see whether or not Tipo and Ray are alright. Because now it's just lonely little Ryu, or Darius. 
So these are first new characters in a long time, actually. The Nut Troops in the Nut Mage. Mad. Meh. Mage. I don't know if I can learn that. Damn it. So the Nut... Nut Monsters, as I like to call them, are much harder to hit. They're really fast, really dexterous, but they're all susceptible to fire. Really susceptible to fire. Like it's a 100% chance of, you know, killing them by fire. Double blow. Maybe I can't learn it. Yet. Maybe I actually have to uh, learn it from something else. I think a trainer. I will have to double check that. And this is one of the reasons why I'm glad that Darius was the one to end up learning Burn. Uh, I feel like I should have seen if I can still go to town and buy some more healing herbs because this is going to be a brutal little climb. Especially with no one but Darius. Oh. Uh. Hi. Hehehe. <laughs> I'm not gonna hurt you. My name's Tallman. If you're interested, I can tell you all about... You all about different creatures' weak points. Uh, sure. Well, for example, take the Aigu. Their weak po points are their eyes, so if you hit them with blind, maybe something will happen. Think about it. What would happen to the nut people if you hit them with fire? I did you a favor by telling you that, so do me a favor, okay? Don't use frost magic on us, please. And now you know why I gave us frost magic. Ah, another nut mage. Let's burn it! I'm gonna be saddened when I run out of AP in this area. Ooh, man. I'm gonna... Oh, hey, Molotov. I'm gonna be saddened when I run out of AP in this area. But, uh... You know, it'll happen. If, uh, all I run into is goddamn nuts peoples. Nut troops, nut mages. There's other ones. Um, I think there's nut archer, which is far more of a pain in the ass. Aha, you missed. Darius can handle, uh, excuse me. Darius can handle himself for at least a while. Good, good while. At least enough to get past this mountain, I think. I'm actually a higher level than I last remember. Whenever I play this, I usually don't worry about grinding and whatnot. Ugh, that's a lot of characters. Um, yeah, I suppose I'll just worry about the mage first. Definitely one of the things that sucks most about this area, or at the least this situation right now, is that most of the time, I say most of the time because of appraisals, most of the time it'll be just Ryu versus like, oh, there he is, versus like four people all at once. So, I'm just sitting here waiting for my turn to happen to maybe do six damage. Or just miss. We'll also just miss. Missing works just as fine. Come on! Do I have to cure my blindness before I do this? I can't, seeing as I didn't even hit on the reprisal. Let's try... No, no, that'd be a waste. I just want to try the croc tier. Only has a small... Only has a chance to do so, but it does do a little bit... Now, it did not cure my status. Die! There we go. And again, blindness is automatically cured when we exit combat. I'll be happy to remember that I do not actually have to worry about climbing back through this mountain in order to get back and forth from Windia to, uh, Neil. Words. 
nearly escaped me. Aha! Treasure! Bat amulet. A what amulet? Equipped. Protects versus blindness! Yes, please! And I just realized that we did not get the, uh... Did we not get the accessory back from Ray or Tipo? The one that prevents death attacks? I don't think we got that. Son of a bitch. Alright. That, that mildly ticks me off, but you know what? Okay, it does make sense. I really need to learn that attack. You know what? Give me a moment, guys. There it is. He went and actually used it. The madman. Alright, now I'm gonna burn you to death. How unfortunate for you, sir. Yes. Whew. I mean, it wasn't that powerful foe. It was just that there's only one of us. Also, I can't help but find it a little bit funny that pretty much every time that we faced one of those nut troop peoples, we have found a Molotov, which is just, I don't know, kind of funny to me that they end up dropping an item which causes a magical effect, which they are weak to. Phew. Suddenly I was in Pokemon for like half a second. All right, so double blow is two attacks, one target. It's pretty ineffectual against uh, not troops still, but you know, it, it's a thing. It's something that I would definitely use on a character that ends up being blinded because two attacks, one character, double the chances of actually hitting something. Because that's how percentiles and chances, rules of chance works. It's not how that works. Dun. That said, still use fire against these guys. They're, they're just that annoying that I really would not suggest going with a pure physical character against them. They can take the damage, but I would not suggest having someone just do nothing but flail at them for five minutes. That said, we've not faced off against the tall man yet, have we? Yeah, we haven't even encountered one. Hope I'm not missing any treasure here. I would be really pissed off if we end up missing some, pl not plot crucial, but definitely some really nice equipment here. That's always my worry when it comes to RPGs. Any RPG whatsoever. First playthrough could be my 10 millionth playthrough. I'll still be worried about whether or not I have found everything or not. Now this song's gonna be stuck in my head all damn day. Which, again, I don't mind. I love the music of this game. Ooh, I can chop these down. Ow. Gotta chop it down and get attacked by something. Another ripper. I I don't need to use a double blow on the ripper. That would just be a waste. I don't recall whether or not double blow does full damage each attack or not. Hi. Hey, wait up, okay? Takes me a while to finish, you know. Wait, I said... Phew. Okay, bro, let's go. Hmm? You're not my brother! W who are you? Wait, you're supposed to be dead! G -g -g ghost Ghost? What are you go talking about? Help! Help me, bro! Come quick! Look! He's dead! I mean, I mean... He's alive! He's a zombie!
This is a surprise. Is he really alive? I'm scared. He's a vampire. Maybe we didn't finish him off. No. No, he's dead, you dummy. Is he dead? Oh, I'm not afraid of a dead zombie. Did we get him this time? We killed him. We're the strongest. What? It inconceivable. Hey, bro. What's happening? He's not a human. Is he invulnerable? Yikes! Come on, bro. Let's get out of here. Wait. Hold on, bro. I have an idea. We may have just found our golden egg. I mean, we knew that we were not human, but this is kind of one of those things that gets sprung up on you. Castle Windia. And it, it be in truth a dragon? It certainly is, your highness. It's for real, a real dragon. Hmm, if what you say is true, it is a most serious matter, no? Indeed, they tried to destroy the world. Hey bro, I think it's gonna work. Your Highness, I give you the dragon. Uh, bro, what's this? Oh no, he's come back to being a kid. Let's try hitting him again. Stop rattling my cage. Hey kid, come on, why don't you change, huh? Uh, enough! Explain yourselves, charlatans! Arrest these conmen and their dragon! Oh, that's unfortunate. Shut up! Stop your crying, you brat! It's all your fault! If only you turned into a dragon, we wouldn't be down here. We're gonna miss the contest, man. Hello there, I'm Nina. I felt sorry for you, being treated like that. So I thought I'd let you go. Th thank you! Hear that, bro? She says she's, she's gonna let us go. Not you. If I let you go, you'll just pick on me again, won't you? We wouldn't do that, Princess Nina. I swear we won't pick on them again. So, if you could please open the door. Mm 
really? <laughs> All right then. Thank you, princess. And it won't pick on him again, right? Oh no. We won't do anything to that kid again. Way to go, bro. Besides, who needs that freak? When we have a princess, she's worth more money anyways. Well, that ain't gonna fly with me. Time to hit the road, eh? Yep, you carry her. Imagine the fat ransom she'll fetch. They're gone. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, door's locked. I tried to yell for the guard. Huh? What? Having a nightmare. Eh, go back to sleep. <sighs> Didn't you even escort the goddamn princess? Ah, god damn it. Okay, let's try, try to yell for him again. Yo, you idiot! Huh? What? Having a nightmare. God damn, you are a useless guard. Certainly hope all the Windy Guards aren't like this. Okay, nothing of my in my cell of use. Maybe I can knock it down. Ugh. Ow. Okay. Uh, guard's still useless. Door won't even budge. Uh, I, I gotta try again. Wait, I can scream for help this time. Let's try screaming for help. Hmm. Help, huh? Yeah, whatever. Okay, so you're not only useless, but you just plain don't care. Great. Gotta do this all on my own. Freaking... Don't want him to get away. No, stay... Hmm. I already know that you're useless. You can shut up. Okay, there we go. Hit it. Harder this time! It opened! Cool! Still hurt. Okay. Yo, can you, can you help me? No? You're gonna be sleeping. Okay. I'm gonna save really quickly, because I already know I'm gonna screw this up. And call an episode here. When we return, we gotta save ourselves a princess! So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Take care. Cheers.